So it's been a while since I've done a tech EC or what's in my tech bag video. And to be quite honest, the reason being is because a lot of the items that I carry today are the same from a year ago. People think they need to continuously replace their tech because it's gonna provide some more value in their life. But to be quite honest, some of the stuff you had a year ago is just as good today or even better. Now, before I begin, I wanna talk about a message from the sponsor. CyberGhost is a VPN service that I've been personally using to keep my data safe over public Wi-Fi, like in hotels, or coffee shops. The best part is I can access content that's blocked in my country. For example, I like to watch Saturday Night Live clips on YouTube, but they block us poor Canadians. So I just connect to an American server and bingo, I can watch them. And yes, this does work with Netflix. The best thing about CyberGhost is the strict no logs policy. They keep no tabs on you and have no idea what you're doing online. There's unlimited bandwidth so you can stay connected 24 hours a day. And some of the servers I've used are blazing fast. Now here's the awesome part. They're giving my audience 18 months of service for $2.75. And if you don't like it after 45 days, you can request your money back. Now what are you waiting for? The deal's absolutely insane. Link will be in the description down below. Okay. First item I carry is the bag itself. And this is the exact same bag I showed in my previous EDC almost a year ago. You got some dirt over here from all of the use. But the reason why I like this bag is because of its spacious capacity. You have tons of pockets inside of here. So I can put books, maybe some peripherals. And then in this pocket, I can like store a tablet in here, maybe a couple of more things. And then you have a quick access pocket on the top. As you can see here, it looks like I've been eating some chocolates and throwing the wrappers in there, but you have a quick access pocket to put things that you need to get to fast, like your wallet. And on the bag is a place for a 15 inch laptop. In fact, I actually fit a couple of 17 inch laptops in here like the Razer Blade Pro and the MSI GS75 without any issues. Next item on the list is the laptop itself and I literally just got it into the studio in the last 10 minutes or just before this video. This is the Razer Blade 15. This is the 4K OLED version. This is not what I usually carry every day, but because I just got in the studio, I'm gonna be testing it out. I'm gonna be carrying this for the next little while. Now with the laptop, I obviously carry a mouse and the mouse of choice is a very simple one. Again, this is an item I chose in a previous video. This is the SteelSeries um, Sensei 310. It's a very affordable mouse. I think it's only like $60. It's comfortable, it's ambidextrous. I am left-handed, so it has to be ambidextrous. And I find it to have good enough DPI that it's perfect for gaming, and most importantly, accurate enough to do simple tasks. So next, ugh. So next up on the list is the WD Passport Go. This is a very, very light drive. Like you don't even feel this when it's in your bag. But the reason why I choose this SSD over other competing products is for one simple reason. On the back of this device, you have a built-in cable. This is absolutely awesome. This means if I pick up the drive, I always know the cable's going to be there. There's been times where I've picked up other SSDs, the cable's not attached, and I'm sitting there squirming looking for a cable. So if you're a scatterbrain like I am, this is a very handy drive with very great read and write speeds to carry around. So for smartphones, I carry two devices, the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus and the iPhone XS. This is not a lie. As you can see, I have a SIM card in both of these devices, LTE signal there and LTE signal there. See, that's boss status because most tech reviewers will be like, oh, I carry an iPhone and then they'll show you their secondary device and it's just on Wi-Fi. That's how you know they're not legit using the second phone. If you have two SIMs in your card, you're a gangster. Third device is actually the one that's on my wrist. This is the Apple Watch. This is the Series 4 version and I absolutely love this smartwatch. In my opinion, there is no better smartwatch out there on the market. Now for headphones, I carry two specific ones. If I'm just in the city, moseying around, I'll literally just use AirPods. They're fine. I like how light they are. They're small in your pocket. I can still hear my surrounding area because they don't clog your ear and they pair well with the iPhone, but but when I'm editing video going on an airplane or I wanna block out the environment, I'll use the Jabra Elite 85H. I think these are the best bang for your buck active noise canceling headphones on the market. The sound quality is almost as good as the Bose QC35s and the Sony WH headphones. In fact, I think these are a better buy than those two that I just mentioned. In fact, you're not gonna notice that much of a difference. They're super comfortable, they fold up nicely, the air pads are very, very nice to the touch, and you don't get head fatigue. They're wireless, you don't have to charge them that often because 
because you can get like 25 to 30 hours of use. There's a cable that comes in the box if you want to use them manually. So even if they're dead and you have a headphone jack, this will work. And it also comes with an adapter for certain airplanes that still use a two prong situation. The wallet of choice is by a company called Nomad. This is their leather wallet. It's very thin, it's very light. I'll put the proper name in the description down below. But the reason why I like it is because of its size and because inside of here, is embedded a tile. So if I ever lose this wallet, I can use my phone to find it. I can page my wallet because it'll basically let off a beeping noise and vice versa. If I press on the tile inside of here, I can page my phone. Now, speaking of Nomad, there is one more item that I use as well and it's their universal cable. I like this thing because it's not going to break. I've used a lot of cheap $9 multi cables before and I find that over a few months they start to rip because they're very poorly made. The braided cable adds a layer of protection and has two of the most important charging bricks or, or, or jacks that I use on a regular basis. Sorry, three of the most important charging jacks that I use on a regular basis. USB type C, lightning port or lightning cable, and last up, the old school micro USB. And last up, the final thing that I carry is an RTX 2070, because baby, you don't know when you're gonna game. You need to have an RTX 2070 in your bag. No, I'm just kidding, I don't carry an RTX 2070. Anyways, that wraps up my review, or what's in my tech bag for mid, 2019. It's a lot of the same stuff from before, a few new items. I hope you guys enjoyed this video because if you did, I would love it if you hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.